that trade, when you look at that team, it's a huge boost because they have an exceptional talent at quarterback. You're right. We did talk a little bit about them, and no, but they just it, got though. keep going. They got Buda Baker, Chandler Jones. Like they do have some pieces on the team. You had that guy who just. I think sometimes a speed wide receiver, like a Ruggs type, a Jalen Rager, a lot of the guys in this draft class, I, I think it's hard sometimes to get on the same page as your quarterback, right? Because you're running at rapid speed. It just it takes years to get a feel for it. I'd say De- the DeAndre Hopkins, the Michael Thomas types, the Keenan Allens, wouldn't you say like they're the most plug and play player of any skill guy on offense? Maybe an op- maybe a running back like a like a Walter Payton, but most running backs are kind of scheme dependent. DeAndre Hopkins could, is there a scheme that he wouldn't kick ass in? Like he just, he just runs outs and comebacks and over the middles and just fucking dominates. He's just easy. You just put him in the game and throw him the ball. And he I, just does what he does. I mean, it's just double digit catches. I, every I, game. I would say, and I think he's even more dangerous when he's with, and he was with a quarterback like this before too, but a quarterback that can extend plays. Yes, because he's just a he will just he is a football catcher, and Kyler even as he's extending plays is looking to throw. So I actually do have something I didn't say earlier about them that I, it's possible John whatever we always talk about Cliff didn't win at Texas Tech, but I thought he held I thought now he has Kyler and he has Hopkins but you, I don't hold that against him. He I thought he 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 had a good football game against the four against Kyle Shanahan Cliff Kingsbury's football team looked like it belonged. Now, part of that is his Kyler's team making is, pulling plays out of his ass. His team is exhausting time. to defend, but that's his court. My point is just like with Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins, how is Cliff not going to be the coach in four, five, six years? Well, he deserves credit, right? The reason they got rid of Josh Rosen for this guy was him. If he didn't want to do it, they would not have done it. That move, one of the better moves in recent memory. I mean, they just drafted the guy number ten overall. I'd say in the history of the league, most people don't do that move. I think, did you tell me once upon a time, or the stats been out there, it's only the second time in league history it happened. I think the Broncos had done it the time they got Elway. So you'd say the two times it's happened, obviously the Elway one, home run. This one sure as hell is trending in the right, right. direction. Yep. Regardless how much they win, it's the right move. One guy's on a fucking practice squad. The other guy just beat the defending uh, you NFC, know, champions. NFC champions. And, and kind of just did it himself. He's exceptional. And he, like you said, this the, the pace they play in, part of it is just Kyler's exhausting. But I, the one thing I like about DeAndre, he, he has a Julio vibe to him. Like just zero. Emo- it's just I kick your ass, Business. get up, go back to the huddle. It's just I'm here to kick ass. He doesn't celebrate. The guy you kind of crazy John, Bill O'Brien guy, doesn't like him? Isn't he that is what Bill the guy you, Oh, yeah, because he, he brings people to practice or something. I don't even remember. In the locker room. What? <laughs> like, he's the guy you trade when you are tanking. He is not the guy you trade when you're trying to win, which is what the – it's it's crazy. They, they are – there is no doubt about it with him and just Christian Kirk. I mean, Larry's just – Larry's a lock. Larry's line now in 2020, like it has been for the last two or three years, is just the – Four for 46, you know, two first downs, and just you, he makes some sweet blocks for his teammates. He just, Larry. Was 4 for 46 his number on Sunday? I I just completely guessed. I it, it, Three for 38, five for 50. I mean, that's just kind of the Larry Fitzgerald. I honestly, I right I'm thinking, I, I can't remember his, I can't remember a single one of his catches. He had four for 34, so I was even a little high. That was perfect, though. Yeah, I mean that's to me that's what Larry brings. Kirk's their deep threat. Kenny and he Drake, got him a penalty on a deep ball. Wouldn't you say with Kyler's running to go along with Drake, you basically just got a hundred yard running runner every game? Because if that Kenny Drake just gets you sixty to seventy, Kyler's going to get you a minimum thirty five, some potentially a hundred. Right? Their their swing running the ball is huge. Because if they just get fifty to eighty out of their running back. Kyler will get that extra to get him to 100, but if he goes off, it could be 150 total. Like today, they ran for 180 yards, and Kyler was 90, and and Kenyon Drake was 60. And one thing we talked about, what would you rather have him do, throw for 300 or run for 100? And it was actually, he didn't do either, and they still lost. That kind of speaks to Jimmy's shitty game, right? But Kyler, to me, was... But he I don't played think the winning numbers, football. 
Yeah, to me, the numbers don't do him justice. No. He was... I mean, is Elite too strong? I thought he was fucking dominant. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought he was... Uh, His scrambling ability. What do you? What are you supposed to do? I, I don't. What, what are the like? How do you negate his scrambling? What I, do you I do? Don't, I don't know that you do. I. I. The way I would put it is, as the, when that game, when Cliff Kingsbury walks off the field in his head, he's thinking, "There's." I wouldn't. Now, of course, you'd rather have Russell Wilson, but you walk off the field thinking, if you're a Cardinal fan, I wouldn't. There's not another quarterback I would want. I would just keep my guy, right? That's what Can you're I, thinking. I. I am happy with my – I am thrilled with my quarterback. Don't show me the box take, score. I'm not going to take the L on this yet because we got a long season to go, and if we've learned anything, you can't make – you don't know much after week one. A lot changes. This kid might be good enough over the next several years to get this guy to the second round of the playoffs to win them the division. He, he might be that special. And you've been saying it the whole time, and the more you watch him, it's, it's hard to – you'd have to be a Kyler Murray hater – to push back on that. Like this guy clearly is a elite talent, right? He can throw it. He's accurate. He can run it. He he's avoids smart. the hits. He's smart. He slides. He can throw like the short passes. He can clearly throw the deep passes. Like he, the only thing his he body doesn't language do is, says he belongs. The only thing he doesn't do is be tall. And I don't even, you don't really even notice it once it he ma- starts playing. It makes it worse actually to play. Him. <laughs> it drives you nuts. You're like, God, this little guy, how do you stop him? The holes are so, twice as big. So where I might take the L on Kingsbury the next couple years is his quarterback might just be a high-end pro bowler. And if you have a high-end pro bowl quarterback. that And by the way, you get credit for You picked him. Yeah, no, I, well, I've never disputed that he wasn't a good evaluator on Kyler. I was more just, win, can he win games? Cause maybe it's harder to win at Texas Tech than it is in the NFL. Maybe but, that is true. Could they get, you know, scored points. Not like he didn't score points as Texas Tech. Well, wouldn't you say the easier part about the NFL is the other team doesn't get as many possessions, and it's just it's well, hard in the NFL just to ha- not have three and outs. Like you're just or just some drop balls or some punts. It's going to happen. If we took all the players he has right now on defense at Arizona and compared them to the how many of how many if we took the all time Texas Tech defense that he played with, would any of them be? Well, well my my pushback though, guy was. For every Oklahoma, you do play a lot of average opponents in that conference. Oh, there's no question. And, and and I think Mike Leach at Texas Tech and Washington State proved that if you're a good coach, you can get to that nine ten threshold. But I and think he Mike. Couldn't. But I think Mike Leach might be an outlier. I think he is an outlier. Well, yeah. Well, that's that was my point. Is part of being a good NFL coach is you kind of have to be an outlier, and I don't know if he is. But would you but take they, Mike Leach in the NFL? Like, there's other things to the job, right? I mean, I'm just saying, like. I, Maybe Texas – we'll see. It's one week, so you might turn out to be – who knows? But maybe it'll turn out – Well, if Cliff Kingsbury can call offense that he, in the NFL, then Mike Leach would be able to call offense in the league. Yeah, but you have to do lead, all the other stuff? But you got to yeah. make sure a team wants to play for you every day and all that kind of shit too, right? Yes. Which Cliff seems likable. Well, but Cliff's been in the NFL. He, Tom Brady likes him. Like, I think he gets all that. I, I've never disputed, like, guys like him. He can lead. I just thought more just as a coach, you either win or you lose. Yeah, I'm like just – but my but here's what I would say. Is if you can lead and call offense, sh- then there might be a spot for you. Well, that's the great part about the NFL is like, well, you're not picking the players. The GM is. So if you had a good GM, he's picked you enough good players, maybe you'll be in good shape. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I could be proven wrong. I mean, I, I'm prepared. Are the Cardinals a playoff team? You know, we talked about them on the podcast the other day. You, I said, I think, like seven wins. You said six, right? So – but they just beat the 49ers you, you, week one, so the yeah, they got a shot. <laughs> Hell yeah, they got it. Yes, they might be a playoff team. Yeah, <laughs> they just beat the Niners at home. 